Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 178 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career and we've got quite a few games to cover today. Um, we are going to be playing some of the Champions League games uh, that we are in but the rest of the league games, as I mentioned in yesterday's episode, we are just going to be going through the highlights if Kai gets a goal or two. Uh, we will show those goals. So the Champions League games we will play, the rest are just going to be highlighted with just goals from Kai as as I said, if he does score or not. Uh, so let's try and get on then. Let's try and get ourselves to the Champions League final. Fingers crossed we can end the season lifting that trophy. It'll be a nice way to say goodbye to this series. It has been a pretty decent series, I've got to say. Uh, but I think we are all ready now for FIFA 18 to release. Uh, half an hour gone then in this Champions League game. This is, I believe, the quarterfinals. Uh, I could be mistaken. Uh, we'll, we'll check after. Uh, obviously, we've got two legs to play, so we're going to find out um, exactly what round we are in. We've also got to check out the league table because we want to see if that is already wrapped up. As that goal is in, there we go, 35 minutes played. And it is Edward who scores the first goal of the game. And, of course, that means we have the away goal advantage as well as we go into that second leg. So, hopefully, we can either hold on to this goal or even increase it even more before the game is over. Uh, fingers crossed we can do that. Remember, tomorrow's episode is the finale of this series. It's been a long, long series. We're not going to be reaching 180 episodes, though, which is a bit of a shame. And we're going to be ending on 179. So just one short of the 180, which is, like I said, a bit of a shame. And I think if we was able to do this series on a daily basis, uh, we would have easily hit 200 episodes. But we were unable to do that this year. Uh, as Kai goes through there on the stroke half time and he does double the lead there for Paris Saint-Germain gets another away goal and PSG are looking good now to bro progress through to the next round and hopefully one step closer to becoming the European champions. Uh, we'll have to look through as well to see how many Champions Leagues Kai's actually won throughout his career. See which clubs he's won it with. I know we won it with Arsenal and I think we won it with Juventus. Uh, I don't think we won anything with Manchester United. I can't remember what we won with Barcelona or with Liverpool. Uh, so I'll have to go back and check that. We'll, we will do in tomorrow's episode. I did mention yesterday uh, that we'll have a, cr um, a full, uh, quick uh, review of Kai's career. See all the clubs we've played for, all his achievements throughout. Uh, it's a bit of a shame we won't find out exactly what he won with England. Uh, they should add that into FIFA 18, if I'm honest. Uh, they probably haven't, but you never know. Um, we need some... Kind of international stats, so you can see if we've won the World Court, the European Championships, which I believe we have with Kai and with England. So it would be interesting to see that, but I don't think you can see all those kind of stats. But never mind, that is the third away goal then for Paris Saint-Germain. We've got five minutes remaining and we are looking good now for the victory. Kai's currently on a 9.5 rating, looking for another goal. He just misses that and the second shot comes in there from Donsa. And it goes, just goes wide. Probably easier to score from there, actually. Um, but Kai's been substituted in the final four minutes. So a little bit of a rest for him. And now we are into another League One game. And, of course, we've already missed one goal because we're not really too interested in that. We're actually into the final minute here. Uh, that means there is going to be a late goal, I believe, for Kai. Is this one going to be played short? And is Kai going to steal it? No, it's played forward. But PSG do win that ball back. We've got two minutes of injury time remaining. And PSG are on their counter-attack. And Jack Grealish plays it forward for Kai. Is he going to get there? No. But he's been played inside. Great ball there. And surely this is the goal. It is, of course. PSG doubling the lead. Kai getting on the score sheet again. That bumps him up to a 9-point rating. Uh, sorry, 9.1 rating. And another three points in the bag. We will check out the league table shortly. Uh, but another three points, one step closer to becoming the French champions. And how many is that for the season? That is Kai's 23rd goal of the season. And we're 10 minutes into this next game against Bordeaux. And already he's looking to extend his tally in the season, in the league that is as well. He's got 23 so far. And he is going to get out. I thought he might have been injured there for a second. That would have cut the series off short. But somehow, what a finish that is. Cracking finish. Uh, did the player in front of him dummy that or did he just miscontrol it? Let's have a look. It was a bit of a powerful through ball. I think he did mean that, that player with the blue boots. Not entirely sure who that was, but he left it for Kai and then Kai smashes it into the back of the net. He also picked up an assist in that game. 
and one goal, finishing it with a 9.2 final match rating. So next up, we are going to be playing this next game. As you can see, it is the return leg against Manchester City. We are 3-0 up from the first leg. Uh, there are all away goals as well, so we just got to hold on. Just don't concede four goals, and I don't think we've done that at all in this career, in this series, have we? So I think we are going to be going through to the next round of this competition. And as you can see, we're into the final 10 minutes now. Not much action to speak of, if I'm honest. Uh, Manchester City have not pressed enough, and PSG and just not been creative enough going forward. Uh, but we are with a few minutes remaining, so hopefully we can still grab ourselves a goal, and hopefully Kai can be the one to grab that goal for PSG. He steals the ball again, and waiting for the through ball, which he gets. He's got support in the middle if he's going to need it. Is he? He does cut it back across the six-yard box, and a beautiful finish. Uh, great play there from PSG. Good counter-attacking play, and it is Vigo with that simple tap-in. Good play there from Kai. He had a quick look up, passed it across the six-yard box, and boom, into the back of the net to give PSG a one-goal lead on the night. 4-0 on aggregate, and it is PSG who are going to be progressing through and knocking Manchester City out of the Champions League. We've got a couple of minutes remaining. Yeah, we've got time for another. That would be nice if we can try and grab one more goal. Yeah, but it is Manchester City right now in possession. They're the ones looking to at least get themselves a goal on the night. They don't want to be losing both legs. And they are pushing forward on this near side. Ball played in the middle. A chance here. Shot comes in. Good save there from Lafont. And he got down low. Lafont is also leaving PSG at the end of the season. He's already signed a contract elsewhere. But he's going to be finishing the year here. So PSG are going to be losing quite a few players, aren't they? Yeah, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to be around to uh, see how they get on. We will be starting a new one pretty, pretty soon. In just a few days' time, in fact. Uh, but there we do go through, oh that was around the 16th, so we're going through into the quarterfinals where we've taken on another Manchester United, uh, sorry, another Manchester club in Manchester United. Uh, there is the quick look then at the league and as you can see we are running away with it, we've won every game bar two, we've only conceded five goals and we've lost zero throughout the season. So I can pretty much guarantee that we are the French champions, uh, it's going to be a fight for second place between Bordeaux and Monaco. Uh, so we'll just let them get on with that. But they can see we are the champions, PSG, French champions. Can we go on and become the European champions? It would be a nice way to end this series, as I mentioned. But before us is Manchester United and it is the away leg uh, to start us off today. So can we do the same as we did against Manchester City and get a couple um, away goals to go into the second leg? We've got three against City. How many can we get here at Old Trafford? Remember, Manchester United is a former club of Kai's. Uh, so it will be nice to try and grab a goal here at Old Trafford. He didn't have the best of times here. But as you can see, Marcus Rashford still in the red of United. Nice to see him. He's one of my favourite English players, I've got to say. Even though he is a Manchester United player and I'm an Arsenal supporter. It's very exciting to watch. Uh, but so far, no goals here in Manchester. Manchester United are in possession right now, trying to push themselves through the middle, getting forced back. Kai applying a bit of pressure, forcing the mistakes, and Kai, I thought he was going to try the effort there on the edge of the area. Um, but Andres winning the ball back here for Paris Saint-Germain. Kai plays it through, shot comes in, good save there. He got down low, keeps the ball out, and gets the ball clear. Come on, Paris Saint-Germain. Let's try and grab ourselves a goal before this whistle blows. We want that away goal. Even if we win just one goal to nil. Or even if we draw 1-1. If we can try and grab ourselves this away goal, it will give us a huge advantage going into the second leg of this quarter-final tie. Well, right now, it's Keita for United. He cuts inside. He's got three men around him. But that's a great ball from Kai. He gets it onto that far side, waiting for the return. He gets it back. Nice bit of turn there. And he gets it into this near post corner. And PSG finally break the deadlock. 15 minutes remaining here for United to try and get themselves back into this game. But great play there from Kai. He's on the score sheet yet again. He is, of course, the Superman. It's his sixth Champion League goal of the season. And we're going into the final minutes now. PSG still holding on to that one goal lead. The important away goal as well. Can play, Kai play it through? He does. And he gets it back as well. Can he get another? He can't. And the rebound is just a bit too far for the other player running in. Good save there from the goalkeeper. Should really be 2-0 there for Paris Saint-Germain. But the goalkeeper parries it out. Goes out of play for a, a Paris corner. 
Kai's coming short for this one. He needs to get the cross in. Nice bit of skill over the top of the defender, but headed away from Manchester United. And I think that is going to be the last action of the game. It is indeed. There goes the final whistle. And we do have the one goal lead then going into the second leg. Kai finishes the game with one goal and a rating of eight. So pretty decent there from Kai. And next up is an away game in League One. And Kai's being rested for this game because we do have some important games coming up in the Champions League. So a little bit of a rest for Kai. So we'll get to 15 minutes against Toulouse and then we will skip it, see how we get on. Hopefully then we can get a goal or two. At least we get the three points, fingers crossed. We don't, we actually lose. That means because we haven't lost all season in the league, that is our first loss of the season. And of course it has to be when Kai isn't playing. So big disappointment that result to be honest. I was hoping to go the whole season unbeaten. We've done it a few times. And in fact, well, actually, uh, we can't really count it towards Kai's loss in the league because he wasn't playing. And so I think we're still going on for not losing in the league for quite a few years. We'll check that in tomorrow's episode uh, in the career summary. See how long ago it was, actually, when we lost a league game. Uh, well, let's try and get this quarterfinals wrapped up then. And then we'll find out who we get in that semi final of the Champions League. We are leading one goal to nil from that first leg at Old Trafford. So we have that away goal advantage. Can we try and extend it in this game? I'm sure we can. We are the favourites going into this one. Uh, PSG, they have possession right now. Kai's pushing forward. Is he going to get the ball here? Is Vigo tried to play it to Kai, but Disson. And shot comes in. Top corner. Great finish that was. Kai will get the assist. That bumps him up to a 7.5 rating. Now 15 minutes played already here at the Parc de Prince. And it is Ryan Gold, number 47, with the first goal of the game. On aggregate, we're leading by two goals to nil. And as you can see, the home fans are very, very happy with that goal. And with it being early, surely we've got time to grab another. Hopefully Kai can get himself on that score sheet as well. But he did get an assist. We'll take that. It's his second Champions League goal of the season there for Ryan Gold. Uh, two minutes remaining. Still leading by two goals to nil on aggregate. And here is Kai on this near side. But he's got three running in support. Just a little bit more central of him. And he's actually more central himself now. He gets the through ball in the middle. And the defender just got there ahead of Kai. I think one step more and Kai would have smashed that into the back of the net. But it was good defending there from United. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because they are out. Manchester United are out of the Champions League. It is PSG who progressed through. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Kai finishes the game with an 8.4 final match rating. He, get, he gets one assist. No goals. And let's just confirm that we are into the semi-finals. And there you can see we are into the semi-finals alongside Chelsea, Real Madrid and Arsenal.